When we're out here in the woods, we like to travel light. And so what that often means is we're not carrying an ax or a saw to cut up wood if we need it for firewood or for a shelter. So I'm gonna demonstrate a few ways that you can start to whittle down your pieces of wood without those additional tools. Um, one of the first ways that I started doing it, which isn't necessarily the best way, but if it's small, you can just kind of step on it and it's either gonna crack under your weight or you can maybe pull up and start to break it. But once it starts getting much wider in diameter than that, you're gonna have to use a different method. So let's say I wanna trim this up for my fire. Maybe I can step on it, break that off. And this piece is being a little more stubborn. So let me go to my next method. You gotta work with the type of wood you have. So if it's a little bendier, you gotta be careful. But if you put it up on something high, that's gonna give you a little more force to break it. So, whoops, that's not tree. There, all right. So I got this piece of wood kinda trimmed up, but this is getting too big to even use my knee to break it. So. Let's say first you want to maybe cut this down to a size for a shelter. Gumby, where do you think I should cut um, it? Maybe about here? Well, maybe like if you can hold it up, a ridge pole is like about as high as you can reach, so maybe like that. Okay, so we'll just say for ease, right about here. Uh huh. Alright. So I'm going to try to cut it right about here using the crotch of this tree. Tree crotch. And I'm going to use it like a lever, so I want to put the piece where I want it to be cut, which is right about there, on the pressure point, so that when I give it force, hopefully it's going to crack right about there. And it's on a kind of a knob there, and see what happens. In this method, you can also try to hit a heavy stick on the ground, but what that often leads to is something that's flying up in the air and it's not that safe. So we I did found, it yesterday morning. <laughs> so we found that the caveman way sometimes works, but it also can result in injury, and this is a lot safer. So I've got it about the point where I want to cut it at, and applying pressure. And you want to, again, read your wood. If it's a little too bendy, it might hurt you. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to what you're doing. Also, Teresa, I found that um, you can get better leverage if you've got a long stick, if you go further out um, towards the tip. Ah. That's a good point. All right. There it goes. Right where you wanted it. So now, work that off. You've got your not so straight ridge pole. And you can also break this down further for firewood. So again, if I want to break it down maybe in half, I put that point there, my impression. <laughs> <laughs> and bouncing with the wood. <laughs> this yeah. might be one where you could use one of those caveman moves, but I'm going to keep trying. And often this works really well. Yeah. <laughs> but this might be a good uh, opportunity to describe what happens. Like, what do you do oh. if you need it down to size and you can't break it with this method? That's a good point. So it started to crack. But what Gumby's talking about is, let's say I'm just trying to use this for firewood. Maybe I don't want to exert any more energy on this piece of wood because I'm just going to burn it up anyway. You can just set it down over your fire. If it's a big piece of wood, instead of breaking it up into smaller pieces, just put it over the fire, maybe over half, like that, so the fire's there. So it'll cut it in half, and then you can shove it further into the fire when you're done. Yeah, I've had at least one student um, tell me that of all the things I tried to teach him when he was in my class, that this was the one thing he uses almost every time he goes out in the woods, 
So he really thanked me for this method. And uh, yeah, that, that fire method, you can like feed it in from the end or in the middle like Teresa's talking about. And we've got nothing against a hatchet or an ax. They're really useful tools, but I find it beautiful to um, be able to benefit from tools when I have them and to know what to do just with what I have on hand when I don't have it. Exactly. Is there anything else you want to say, Teresa? Um, listen to your piece of wood. Yep, listen to your wood. <laughs>